We can interact anonymously online. That's pretty cool. Or is it? Emotionally immature people, often teenagers, but certainly not exclusively, are able to write insulting and hurtful things online to strangers. These are left without any remorse because there's no parent, authoritative figure, morally righteous, or empathetic person to hold them accountable for their actions. This is cyberbullying. For an unempathetic person, bullying feels good. It's fueled by feelings of superiority and power. Whether you're insulting someone's intelligence, the way they look, act, or even play a game, this behavior is totally not okay. When I was younger, I definitely said some mean things online, and looking back, I think, yeah, I was really young and stupid and unempathetic. I don't remember the exact cause, but somewhere along my journey, I realized that every person's life and experience is just as valid as my own. I knew that I had no right to intentionally make someone else's day worse, just to make me think that mine felt better. So for anyone who hears me talk about this right now and relates to this behavior and just shrugs it off or laughs and goes, haha, yeah, I do that sometimes, let's break it down. Surely you can relate to the feeling of not being loved. In school, people called you names, at home your parents yelled a lot or were barely there, it made you feel insignificant. Maybe your parents were bullies. You felt unworthy of being loved. You were not calm. Dig into those feelings. Remember what it must have felt like to be that scared little child. It's possible you've tried to block this out of your memory completely. Now imagine you just had a baby. If you're a teenager, this may seem like years and years away, but for some unlucky teenagers, you've already had a baby. You are a parent now, and this newborn is a clean slate, untainted, crying for help because it literally can't do anything for itself. Everything that you do to this baby will affect it for the rest of its life. It will have positive memories of its childhood, or it will remember you yelling and being a bully. Aside from the sustenance that it requires to grow, babies need to be nurtured, rocked to sleep so they feel safe. They need love. Teenagers and adults are no different. We need love and we need to feel calm. When you say mean things to other people online, you're directly influencing their ability to find calmness. The same way that you would be upset or afraid if someone was bullying you, you need to be sensitive about how your actions affect other people. Here is how to behave online and in person. Every time you're about to say something as a reaction, first, don't open your mouth. Wait 10 seconds, think about how your words would make someone else feel. If you think it would be received as offensive, don't say it. They probably said something or did something to frustrate you. People are going to frustrate you for your whole life. It's the emotionally mature people who can recognize their tendency to say something and then choose not to act on it. If someone says something immature or rude to you online, don't respond. I know that you think you have this need to defend yourself and say something witty in response, but just don't. Realize that your clever remark is rooted in defensive behavior intended to belittle your attacker. Maybe you already know what happens next, but they feel attacked and they respond back with even meaner words. The two of you are never going to agree and that's fine, but you have to know that neither of you are going to submit either. You may feel empowered when you respond to put them in their place, but you're allowing yourself to sink to their level. As long as the conversation continues, you will both feel shitty. Don't stay in situations where people can disrupt your sense of calmness, and don't do things that disrupt other people's calmness when it isn't necessary. Practicing this will make you a more compatible partner.